Hello, hello. It is Direct Mail Monday, March 4th, 2019. Steve Cypress here, and let's get right to it. I picked up this thing called the Deal Star. Kind of like a clipper coupon or a money mail or a val pack. It's a collection of ads. It's uh, probably fairly new because it's only about a dozen pages or so here. That's That's about it. Uh, with a different ad on every page, except some have the two-page spread or the double truck, as it's known in the advertising industry. So, uh, I, you know, this I don't know if this goes through the mail. Pick this up while we were out and about, but maybe it's delivered through the mail like those other ones I talked about. Maybe not. Maybe it's they just put it around the strategic locations. Anyway, I'm going to use it to illustrate one of the most fundamental uh, design rules of creating anything in advertising, marketing, sales, anything at all is, you know, there's a saying, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Well, similarly, they don't even care who you are until first they know that you can help them. So you got to got to remember that when you're on the other side of the aisle, as I talk about a lot, when you're in the you're a prospect, you're in the buying cycle, you're looking to make a purchase. You rarely care, if it, unless you're a loyal customer, it's a repeat purchase. But for a new business, you really care, especially a local business, you rarely care about the name of the company or the logo of the company. First, you want to know, can they fill the need that you're looking to have someone fill? Now, the reason I say especially with a local business is because a lot of times, with big companies, big corporations, they have really deep pockets and they do a lot of image advertising. Just get their name out there. That is the most expensive, wasteful thing anyone can do, but that's big companies have a ton of money. So McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Budweiser, all the way down the line, including companies that local businesses compete with, like Roto-Rooter. Uh, they put their name, Roto-Rooter will put their name at the top of their ad, wherever you see it, it'll say Rotor Rooter at the top. And then every local plumber and heating and air guy and everyone else gets the idea that, oh, see, I guess that's what works. That's what I got to do. No, that's what works for Rotor Rooter. Why? Because Rotor Rooter has put in nearly a century of time and billions and billions of dollars into making that name known so that it means something. Rotor Rooter. You know, since I was a kid and long before, I heard the jingle and jingles stick in our minds uh, called Rotor Rooter. That's the name, and away go troubles down the drain. So Rotor Rooter stands for uh, a trusted company that's been around forever. So we believe that they're solid, and we don't know what we're getting with a local plumber. Maybe he's out to rip us off. Maybe he's doesn't have anyone to answer to if he's late or if he does a bad job. The road router guy, we know, has someone to answer to. So similar to if you go out to eat and you go to a McDonald's, if you're in a strange town, a lot of times people will go to a McDonald's or go to a Subway or go to a Taco Bell because it's something they're familiar with. But they won't try the local burger place. Maybe that's a crummy place. Maybe they got a dirty kitchen. Maybe, you know, their stuff is, well, can't be lower quality food than McDonald's, but maybe the experience isn't as great. Maybe who knows what, but we like to go to something familiar. So Rotor Rooter plays off that with a familiar name. They put their name at the top of their ads. Local business owners, unless you're so well known that when people see Joe's Plumbing or a picture of your truck or a little clip art guy with a wrench, uh, or whatever your not or so your logo your or your you know your Joe and Sons so you put Joe J in a circle ooh ah unless people see that and it means something that means oh man that's incredibly trustworthy I just have to do business with them especially understand advertising is to a lot of time to new movers new movers don't have any allegiance any loyalty to any local company in their area and they're looking for a new doctor, dentist, daycare center, dry cleaner, all the restaurants, retail stores, supermarkets, plumbers, heating and air guys, roofers, you name it. They're looking for all kinds of new people. Think twice before you put your name at the top. Does that mean anything to them? 
Okay, here's a way to test it out. For a local business owner and, and people that don't know, I spent three and a half years as an advertising consultant with a major Yellow Pages company, the largest in the country. And so, so many times I meet a local business owner and of course they had their name at the top of their end. The simplest thing I could do to double or triple their profits, their, their results from that ad without having them spend a single penny. I was like, you don't have to increase the size of the ad. I'm just make one simple change and I'll triple the effectiveness of the ad. In fact, that was my guarantee that I got in the door and I fixed their ads and the easiest thing in the world, all I did was take their stupid name and logo off the top of their ad. Now, well, I'm not saying their name is stupid, but if it's placed on the top of an ad, you're wasting your prime real estate. Your prime real estate is the top. That's the first thing people look at. Why have them look at your name, which means nothing to them? And so a lot of times they would say, oh, but, you know, I know everyone in the area. So that, that's Jones Plumbing, you know, that they've been around forever. They stand for, like, really? Let's uh, bring, I'd bring in a phone book that from traveling that I just picked up in a hotel room. They used to have these telephone books in hotel rooms around the country. Most of them don't do it anymore because they feel people don't use the phone books and less people advertise in the phone books. Hint. That's why there's a ton of money to be made in the Yellow Pages. There's less competition. So if you do the right thing, you're going to make a lot of money much easier than in the days when there were 20 pages of plumbers in your local phone book. And unless you placed a full-page ad, you had no chance to make any money. Anyway, so I would bring in this out-of-town Yellow Pages, and I'd say, now, let's open up to the heading that your industry is. Let's Again, let's just take this plumber I'm talking to. And I'd say, tell me, what is this logo represent what does the name smith and sons plumbing mean to you oh well it doesn't mean anything to me no kidding how about this logo of this you know j in a circle plumbing what does that mean to you yeah nothing what is this name but and not not none of the names or logos meant anything to them well that's putting yourself in the place of your prospect and understanding that if they're a new mover to the area which is why they're looking through a Val pack, or they're looking through the Deal Star, or the Money Mailer, or the local, you know, this thing that came. I also tossed this one today. This thing came, uh, you know, this buyer's guide thing with all these ads in here. You know, if I had a, you know, I'm looking for a new restaurant to go to or something because I'm a new mover to the area or a pizza place or whatever, I might look through that stuff. Once I've been around and I've used somebody, or I know my neighbors, or I know, you know, something about the air i've had any kind of experience even if i had a plumber come in and i trust the plumber i can ask him who do you recommend for a heating and air guy or a landscaper this contractors tend to know each other but with no one to ask so that's usually who's looking at your ads and hint in case you don't know when you travel to another city check it out open up the local paper or check out their local yellow pages if you can find one or go on google.com and search for someone in your industry in a foreign city. So if you live in Colorado, in Denver, Colorado, put in plumber Louisville, Kentucky, Louisville, as they say, and see that what comes up doesn't mean anything to you, the name and logo. Okay, so that gives you an idea. The prime real estate in any of your ads, your emails, I see this so much in emails. People use these templated emails, and they look so cool. So you're fooled into using them. It's not your fault. You haven't been taught any better. But now you have, or if you're my client, you have. But you, I see these all the time. I don't even read them. I, I won't scroll past even the stupid, you know, top of the email that's all pretty and colorful and has the big name of the company or whatever. I'm like, I'm not even scrolling to look. I got hundreds of emails to go through. And unless you can immediately grab me, uh, I'm, not, I'm not reading it. I'm not looking at it, and I, scrolling down counts as not immediate, so see ya. That's what's happening when you put the name and the logo at the top of your crap. Same with flyers. I said, I got a, unfortunately, I had a flyer uh, that uh, uh, one of my clients, believe it or not, uh, sent to me and asked for a critique, and I'm like, well, you know, what, what about the fonts? What about the colors? What about the this? What about the angle that this is on or the list of the bullet points? I'm like, just forget all of that. 80%, 90% of the effectiveness of your ad, flyer, your email, anything at all, is based on the initial 
part of the communication, the headline, basically the first thing people see. And if you waste that prime real estate by putting your name, your company, this flyer had their name of their company at the top. And then right beneath it, like something like their phone number or email, I don't even know because I, you can't pay attention. See it. They, they, unfortunately, unless somebody's really rabidly wanting to know about your thing, like they're not paying attention once you waste that prime real estate. Use the prime real estate, the top of your ad, your email, your flyer, your anything, to tell people really clearly that you have a solution to the problem they have. Simple as that. So I'm going to use this, this deal star uh, booklet of ads to illustrate that with some that do it right. So here's one that does it right. Here we go. What's at the top? Delicious deals on Arizona's freshest mix. Boom. Freshest mix. And then that's the name of the place. Coast, cost, coast. Who cares? I don't care until I care. Oh, and there the special is I get that. And the special is I get a free entree. Now I want to know. Oh, they're down in Mesa and Val Vista, whatever. And there's the front. Now I want to know. See, once I know that they're freshest and they got good deals, hmm, that looks interesting. Believe me, I'll look to see where they are. If they had stupidly put their name of their company in the top left up here and their address or phone number, so I'm thinking, yeah, that's what I want. People know where I am. I'm a restaurant. Like, they wouldn't even have seen the rest. That would have been a big mistake. Okay, here's another one. Now, this is interesting. MyArizonaInjuryLawyers.com. That's not the name of their firm. That's the name of their website, which is a smart website. Now, most law firms, not as smart marketers as these guys, although I don't know about the choice of... <laughs> Of luck, but I guess that's in these days. Uh, act as a baseball player looks like that, just signed for like three and a million dollars. So I guess that's the look. Um, interesting, you know, if he was addressing me as a member of a jury, interesting if I'd have any respect for that guy, but who knows? I'm sure he overcomes it with his fantastic lawyerly knowledge and skill. But why do something like that that you got to overcome? But anyway, that's another topic for another day. Uh, the dress the success for success topic. Uh, and he is overcoming that by dressing. What if he paired that with like a, you know, ripped T-shirt? They really blow it. Anyway, uh, myarizonainjurylawyers.com. Most law firms, you know, they have, maybe yours does, they have their name of their website would be, Shlada what's this one? Shankpodolsky.com. <laughs> what are you doing? That would be silly. So they were smart and got myarizonainjurylawyers.com. So that says, Arizona injury lawyers. So right away, they're using the prime real estate at the top to grab my attention. And if I've been injured, I slipped and fell somewhere. I was in a car accident. Or who knows what? I think I, got, I need an injury lawyer. Bang. Inj they're injury lawyers. Now let's see. They do this and that and this and that. Dog bites. Yeah, maybe I was bit by a dog. Wrongful death. She, slip and fall. There it is. I was going to say they don't have the slip and fall. Slip and fall. So they do it. Now that I know that they're probably like the guys. I mean, they have that website. Gee, they're clearly they're great. And they do what I need. Now I'm interested in who they are. And now I'm interested in how to get a hold of them. And also they give a free consultation, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good job. Let's see another one. Good job. Hear life. You will wish you'd done it long ago. And then they tell you it's called paradise healing. Hearing. Do I care that it's called paradise? Do I care that they have palm trees in an island and more? No. So they paid hundreds or a thousand dollars or something for this logo. They're all proud of it, but they're also smart enough to know that I don't give a crap. Nobody does. Nobody cares about that. I care about this. The deal, uh, never buy batteries again, uh, that it's rechargeable. Uh, that it's, uh, who knows, it's tiny, it's blah, 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 24 channels, four computer chips, or four times the processing power, blah, blah, blah. I know all kinds of benefits of it. And then once I say, these are really good benefits, that sounds like a good deal, blah, 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 blah. Now, how do I get a hold of them? Ah, now towards the bottom, phone number and address. Great. And the name of the comp, Paradise Hearing, great. And the name of the comp, it's all at the bottom. This one's interesting. They choose to make it really small at the top. Not, I don't suggest you do that, but they got all natural organic CBD oil products, THC free, blah, blah, blah. So they got a lot of their benefit, what they have and the benefits at the top. And then they do put their name and their logo in the middle at the top. It's 
silly, but not a totally bad, because they also put these this copy, these good uh, benefits at the top to draw me in. So if I'm interested in natural organic CBD oil products that are THC free and non whatever all that stuff is, and created to and trusted and ooh, ah, whatever, uh, I skip right by this because I don't care yet that what your name is and that you got, I don't know, hair made of flowers. Uh, I don't care about that. I'll say skip right by it, thankfully for them. Uh, better if they just didn't put it up there, but at least everyone will skip right past it and see, oh, what's the deal? Ooh, that's regularly 49 It's only 39 This is 59 It's regularly 79 Those are good deals. If I bought it elsewhere, I know what it is. Now, I want to know, how do I get that? Oh, look, I go to Mother Jane Hemp Oil. Come. They did a good job of spelling it out with capital letters for the different words so I can read it quickly and remember it. And then they got maybe, I don't know, where, wherever else they are. Maybe they have some weasel claws. They do. Results from products may vary. They got their legalese mumbo-jumbo at the bottom. But that's also where this ridiculous, meaningless logo and name ought to go down here. But that's okay because we disregard it because there was some good stuff at the top. Another good example. Boom! Windshield replacement and tinting. If I have a windshield that's got a scratch or a cut or a what, whatever you call it, it's been smashed, it's got a whole rock hit it or whatever, which happens a lot down here in the desert, by the way, because there's rocks all over the place. Very little grass, lots of rocks. So all the windshields get damaged down here. And uh, I think Arizona State Insurance Law says once a year, everyone gets a free windshield replacement. I remember reading that. And so, uh, you know, that's a big deal down here. And so, but this is cool. Wait in our movie theater room in Lax. I've showed their stuff on other flyers, I think, from Valpac or something. How cool is that? So they've told me some cool differentiating benefit up there that I can wait in a movie theater room right there, and I can eat some popcorn and watch a movie. And meanwhile, I also get $120 cash back on this, $140 cash back on that, this thing there. Okay, that all sounds good. And you can see they put their name here, but first, they screamed at me, I've got the solution to your problem. you got a cracked windshield? That's a cracked windshield. I got windshield replacement and tinting. Boom. Now, I, of course, I, as you saw, I didn't care what their name is. I skipped right by it to see the deals, to see maybe a picture. Oh, it's a 17-inch, 17 17-foot? 17 17 17-inch would be silly. That's like this laptop I'm on. 17-foot theater screen is kind of cool. Free snacks, free drink, free Wi-Fi, leather, reclining seats. Heck, I'm going to... I'm going to crack my windshield <laughs> so I can go there and hang out and have fun. Uh, and then, now that I care and I know what they do and how cool it is and what they have for me, now you can tell me the phone number and the address down here at the bottom. Well done. What's this one? Website design and development. If I need a website designed or developed, which I think is the same thing, uh, although unfortunately it, it shouldn't be. Like most businesses don't know how to design a website, especially people who know how to develop one, how to build one, have no clue about how to design one. Again, they'll put your name and your logo at the top of your website. Big mistake. Uh, and they'll cost you opportunity, cost you money. That you, It's not like you, you, th you literally throw money out the window. It's not like AOC's world in New York where she thought, hey, that $3 billion we we're going to give Amazon, we should give it to somebody else. It doesn't exist. It's a discount of $3 billion. So it's opportunity cost of the money you're losing when you put your name and logo at the top. You don't physically throw money out the window. You just Your phone just doesn't ring. Your website doesn't get the hits that you should get. So, boom, website design basic package starts at this and call for your free analysis now if I really do care, I have the phone number, do I care what their name is? Okay, there it is. It's called the brand agency, and there's their logo. So now, seeing that they design the ad properly, maybe I have some confidence that they can design a website properly. Very good. If they had this stupid logo, name AB, like I care, and their name and their thing and their address, whatever, at the top, and the phone number, I would never call them. No one that knows, watches this video, or knows the first thing about effective advertising or marketing or sales or communication would ever call a company that says, I'll do your marketing for you. I'll help you with your marketing. But I don't know the first thing about marketing because I put my name and logo at the top. So good for them. Name and logo at the bottom after they tell me what they can do. So you see the point, and we'll just leave it. There's a whole bunch more. Here's a horrible one. Fail. Evo Swim School. Why do I care? Why do I care that your name is Evo? What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. You just wasted 
this whole top 25% of the ad. You put nothing over here that's going to get me to call a picture of a pool. And over here, I'm pretty sure you have a pool. It's a swim school, right? You think, oh, sold, pool. They have a pool. That's it. That's what I look for. What I look for in a swim school is that they have a pool. Look, pool at the top. That's it, sold. Come on now. Think about it, right? Give me some reason to even look at the ad, to even, you know, what, what's the benefit here? New location is the benefit to you. I don't know if that's benefit to me. Oh, free. There it is. Free swim Saturdays. 15 bucks off. I don't know if that thrills me. So you got to work on your irresistible offer because that's extremely resistible. This is irresistible. It's free. Free swim on Saturday. So if they put free swim Saturday, come in and swim for free. And the whole ad was only to get me to bring my kids to get in the door and get them swimming free on Saturday. Then when I get there on Saturday, then you can give me all the brochures and you can talk to me and give me a tour and show me the pricing. And then you can show me your logo or your name or your company like I care. Once I, I see free swim Saturday, you know what? I'm always looking for something to do with the kids on Saturday. My kids don't play soccer, don't, uh, you know, do any other sports. They don't. I'm, I got the only kids in town that don't do anything on Saturdays. But even still, let's just say I want to do something with them on Saturday. Let's bring them by for free swimming. Sounds good. And now I want to know, there's their website. They do a good job spelling that out with capitals. And uh, there's their address and a map. Good job. So, and, and here's the phone number. So that stuff down here, that name and logo, though, man, whoever designed this took these people for some money. I would go in. If this is you, call me, or you don't have to now because I'll just tell you. Take this nonsense, this no money making, effectiveness sucking part of your ad out. Put free swim or a much more irresistible off of that. Put something compelling at the top. Get this out of here down to the bottom or just get rid of it altogether. Who cares that it's small letters with two little quarter circle things that who cares what is that nobody cares about that you got the name down here just put the name and but tell me get my attention real quick with some something to get me in there make sense another mistake here sun valley pediatric dentistry nobody cares you have now wasted the beginning part of the ad that belongs on the bottom along with this contact information after just blast this much bigger. New patients are welcome. One of the most useless phrases in any ad, but lots of dentists like to do it. Like, new patients welcome. Really, you think? Oh, I just thought you spent lots of money on an ad to attract new patients because you're not taking any. I mean, it's, is it not assumed? If you paid money for an ad, and I have an ad in my hand that I'm looking at trying to attract me to be a new patient, then new patients are welcome. Come on now, who, who ripped these people off and charged them? It looks like somebody charged them for how fun it looks, and that's good. You know, it looks kid-like, although I'll give you a hint. Uh, kids aren't the ones making the decision of what dentist to go to. They'll make the decision once they get there. They'll help make the decision whether they want to go back there. So you put all this stuff on the wall when they get in there, and you have games in the waiting room and, you know, music on the headset that they would like, and you put Sesame Street or whatever they would like, uh, Finding Nemo, whatever's the thing kids like these days. You put that up on a, on a loop on a TV screen while they're getting their teeth worked on it, whatever it is. But th you got this ad has got to be to adults who understand, of course, new patients are welcome, and they don't care what the name of the place and that you got a little monkey here and a son here. They don't care about any of this crap. They care about $25 cleaning exam and x-rays. Blast that right up here. And by the way, do the math, make it a lot more irresistible, and say free cleaning exam and x-rays. Free happy visit exam. Free, free, free. Use the most powerful word in average to do the math. You're not going to close out of business because you don't get 25 bucks out of somebody who spends an average of thousands of dollars a year. So they come in, a family comes in, and that could mean 10, 20 grand in your pocket, and you're chintzing out over 25 bucks on their first visit. So free. Get them in the door. Another lesson for another day. Anyway, that's it. So if you get your name off the top of your ad, cash for gold. Boom! Then I'll care that the name of your company is called the gold guy and the whatever. Put 
cash for gold. Bang. Tell me what problem of mine you can solve first when you make up an ad, a flyer, an email, you meet somebody in person, business card, anything at all. It's all the same. They're all just different ways. That's the last W in the WOW strategy. It stands for the ways that you get your irresistible offer. That's the O in front of your ideal target market, your who. That's the WOW strategy, W-O-W. -W. But you see, that last W, the way, is last for a reason. First, you figure out who you're looking to attract. Second of all, you figure out the irresistible offer that will attract them absolutely guaranteed. And then you can put that irresistible offer out to that target who in all kinds of different ways, including flyers, ads, emails, online ads, on and on and on, you name it. That's it. For direct, and including direct mail. Who knew? That's it for Direct Mail Monday. Oh, thanks for all those likes. Should have paid attention here. I got some questions. Uh, Rochelle is asking, uh, saying hello. Man, I got to put on the old glasses. Yours are not being kind to the old uh, to the eyes of your host. Uh, hi, Steve Cypress. LOL. Kids don't make decisions so true. Yes. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I like the fact that we're laughing, but this is money. This is a serious matter. I mean, this is a lot of money spent not only paying somebody to create this fiasco of a pediatric dentist ad, but they got the back cover on this thing, which likely means it even costs more than I need to but they're paying money for the back cover. And man, I could just take this back. You give me the back cover of this thing, I'll make them three, four, five times the money they make this thing. Easy. Probably 10 times the money. And if I go with the overall strategy of their entire business. What happens once someone comes in the door? Now what happens? Where do you tour them around first? What do you say when you introduce them to the front office staff, to the dentist? What do you say, uh, what do you have there for them? What do you say after they book an appointment? What's your follow-up strategy? How do you get them back in? How do you get them to get more services known as the upsell? Like, would you like fries with that? How, you know, I could do the overall strategy, probably make them 50 times the money, which is why... 90% of small businesses go out of business in the first five years. They don't do things the right way. They should go to helpfromsteve.com, and I'll help them, or I'll help you do things the right way. Rochelle says, so true. Thank you. Holly is here. Great seeing you, Holly. Roger. Roger Abrams? Oh, Roger Abrams. I thought that was uh, somebody different. Roger's here. Jim is here. Good seeing everybody. I don't see any questions, comments, concerns other than those two. So we'll call it a day here on Direct Mail Monday. Thanks for being here. Take this to heart, folks, please. First, get their attention, and you get their attention by letting them know, I've got a solution to your exact problem. I know how you feel. I know who you are. I know what's going through your mind. I can relate. You can trust me to solve your problem because look how much I know your problem. I'm offering you a solution. Bang, right at the top. Oh, about me? We'll take care of that later down at the bottom. Make sense? That's how you get people to like you. You mention yourself last. You don't me, me, me all over the place and blast your name and logo at the top and go, do I care about your problem and your solution? Not really. I care about me and my name and my logo. That's the most important thing. So I put that at the top. That's what you're saying. Why would you want to say that to a prospect? Don't you want to make money? I want you to make money. That'll do it. And John is here talking about sharp entrepreneur. John Meese is here. Phil says, great reminder, Steve. I'm so prone to putting my name on stuff like someone cares. Notice, Phil, talk about sharp entrepreneur. Phil, I, I didn't say not to put, of course, you put your name on it. Just, of course, not in the prime real estate because a viewer doesn't, sorry, I hate to break it to everybody, but the, brew, the viewer who's reading your stuff doesn't care who you are until they know that you can solve their problem that they have. Again, this is different for, than for repeat business, where they already know you and they trust you and they like you, then you can do different things. But if you're paying money to attract people that don't know who you are and never heard of you, your name and your logo, ouch, big mistake, huge. Don't do that. But do be back here tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. I'm going to take something out of the news. It actually happened last week. 
Uh, it's still being talked about all over the place on social media, and I'm going to share a lesson from it. It was the uh, testimony of uh, the uh, our uh, our president slash uh, crime bosses fixer slash underling in the crime world uh, testimony that's still got the world lit on fire and I'm going to share a business lesson about what that means for your business not the actual testimony because who cares but it's the media reaction to the testimony and what that means for you and your business so make sure you're here tomorrow on topical Tuesday for that Patricia's here great seeing you Jim is here and that'll do it for direct mail Monday thanks for all the likes shares Thanks for being here today. I'll catch you tomorrow, folks. Over and out. That'll do it for Direct Mail Monday. See you tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. Bye-bye.